Hey space explorers, and welcome back to the channel. Imagine zipping across the galaxy in mere moments. Picture yourself traveling to a distant star system faster than light itself. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, today we're diving into one of the most mind-bending concepts in theoretical physics, wormholes. So, what exactly is a wormhole? In simple terms, it's a hypothetical shortcut through space-time. Think of our universe as a vast, almost infinitely stretching fabric. Normally, to get from point A to point B, you have to travel across that fabric. But what if you could fold that fabric, bringing point A and point B together, creating a bridge? That bridge is what we call a wormhole, or more formally, an Einstein-Rosen bridge, after Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen who first explored the idea. To understand wormholes, we first need a quick refresher on Einstein's theory of general relativity. This revolutionary theory taught us that space and time aren't separate, but are interwoven into a single entity called space-time. Mass and energy warp and curve the space-time fabric, and this curvature is what we perceive as gravity. Think of a bowling ball placed on a stretched rubber sheet. It creates a dip. A marble rolling nearby will be drawn towards that dip. That's essentially how gravity works according to Einstein. Wormholes emerge from the same mathematical equations of general relativity. They essentially describe a scenario where space-time is so dramatically warped that it creates a tunnel connecting two distinct regions. While the concept is intriguing, there are different theoretical types of wormholes that scientists have considered. The most famous is the Schwarzschild wormhole. A Schwarzschild wormhole would theoretically connect a black hole to a white hole, a hypothetical region of space-time from which nothing can enter, only exit. The problem? This type of wormhole would be unstable and extremely fleeting. It would collapse almost instantaneously, making travel impossible. For a wormhole to be traversable, meaning we could actually pass through it, it would need to be held open. And this is where things get even more speculative. To keep a wormhole stable and prevent it from collapsing, theoretical physicists have proposed the need for something called exotic matter. Now, this isn't just any old matter. Exotic matter would possess properties we haven't observed yet, primarily negative mass or negative energy density. Unlike normal matter, which creates attractive gravity, Exotic matter would exert a repulsive gravitational force, essentially propping the wormhole open. Think of it like pushing against the walls of the wormhole to keep it from pinching shut. The problem? We have no experimental evidence for the existence of exotic matter. It remains purely hypothetical. Despite the scientific hurdles, Wormholes have captured the imagination of filmmakers and writers for decades. They're a staple of science fiction, offering tantalizing possibilities for interstellar travel. Movies like Christopher Nolan's Interstellar brought the concept to the big screen with impressive scientific accuracy, depicting a wormhole near Saturn that allowed humanity to reach a distant galaxy. The TV series Stargate SG-1 even built its entire premise around an ancient network of wormhole portals. These stories highlight the immense appeal of wormholes, the promise of overcoming the vastness of space and exploring the unknown. So the burning question, are wormholes real? As of now, they remain purely theoretical. We have no observational evidence of their existence. While the mathematics of general relativity allows for their possibility, the conditions required for a traversable wormhole, particularly the exotic matter, are beyond anything we've observed or can currently create. Many physicists believe that if wormholes do exist, they would likely be microscopic, unstable, and impossible to navigate. The idea of stable, macroscopic wormholes ready for human travel is, for now, firmly in the realm of science fiction. So why do scientists continue to study wormholes if they're so hypothetical? 
because pushing the boundaries of theoretical physics often leads to unexpected breakthroughs. Studying wormholes helps us better understand the fundamental nature of space-time, gravity, and the universe itself. It forces us to confront the limits of our current understanding and imagine what might be possible. Who knows what future discoveries might reveal? Perhaps one day, our understanding of exotic matter or even gravity will evolve to make these cosmic shortcuts a reality. Wormholes are a testament to the incredible power of the human imagination and the depth of scientific inquiry. They challenge us to think beyond our everyday experience and dream of a universe where anything is possible. What do you think about wormholes? Would you ever travel through one if given the chance? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this cosmic journey, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more mind-bending science, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next adventure.